It's a black widow bug. Can you tell it's a little cool in here? Welcome to the Gem Valley in Southern Idaho. I've got my map. I'm looking for points of interest and whatever strange and unusual things we can find along the way. We're in Southern Idaho, doing some exploring. I'm back in a familiar area, just looking harder for things I might not have seen. And I'm not having too much luck so far. little bridge this is the bottom of Black Canyon I'm gonna go check out the ice cave for a minute just because I brought a better flashlight this time, so you guys can hopefully feel how big this cave really is. But it's underneath this field. It's an old lava tube from a volcano. It's just right there. It's the Ice Cave Knoll. Ice Cave Volcano. It's hot. It's an ice cave, so it should feel really nice in there. Okay, the birds see me coming. See if they get out of the way or if they fly in my face. It's like 20 degrees cooler in here. money right here. But it's like a subway tunnel. Tell it's a little cool in here. See my breath. Well, this is the ice cave. I'm not gonna go any further, just cause I've been in this cave so many times and we've already been here. Let's go check out some new things. But if you wanna come check out this ice cave, make sure you wear your mud boots. Probably wear a jacket cause it gets kinda cold back here. Definitely bring extra flashlights. This cave is about a quarter of a mile long, so it's not too bad if you want to go all the way to the end. It tapers off to nothing at the very end, but it's, it's kind of cool. The very last chamber has a bunch of like lava, 
pieces hanging from the ceiling. So you can tell it was full all the way to the top at one point. And then all the little lava pieces dripped off. It's kind of cool. But there's a couple places further in the cave where it's collapsed. So you got to climb over boulder piles. And I think this is the muddiest I've ever seen it. I don't know if it's because of the wet year or if the farmer that owns a field above this just waters a lot. Oh man, I want to go back in the cave already. It's hot. Scientists believe about 30,000 years ago, lava from several volcanoes surrounding Grace formed this mostly level valley and blocked the Bear River from its original destination. The Bear River used to flow to the Snake River and then to the Columbia and then out to the Pacific Ocean. Now it would flow south towards the Great Salt Lake or Lake Bonneville as it was known at the time. Right here you can see a black ridge. That is the lava flow that blocked this valley. The Bear River runs along the foot of that mountain now. Okay, right here where the lava blocks the Bear River from going to the Snake River, is also sheep rock. This was an important place for the Oregon Trail, the California Trail, and the Mormon Trail. They all passed right through this area. This rock, I assume is sheep rock, and they used it as a trail marker. So pretty much from this junction, you'd either go to Oregon, go to California, or go down into Utah. And this connects right to the Hudspeth Cutoff Road that I was on last week. Well, on the road that I was on two weeks ago. One of these signs says they made a bad decision in the California route. And a couple years later they changed it because that route was not a very good one. Lots of history in this area. So I think we're going to go to Soda Springs now. Go look at some more volcanic evidence and enjoy the sceneries and the nice day okay now i'm in the cemetery looking for a historical marker i seen a sign for it said it was the wagon box grave i don't think that one's it that one looks too new there's an older one over here. Let's go look at it. Well, I was totally wrong on this one. I did not find the grave marker for the wagon box. Etta, Etta Smith and Frank E. Smith, huh? That definitely looks old, though. pretty cool you don't see too many of them above ground tombs like that at least not around here the Freemasons are definitely in town Soda Springs Geyser. So far it's been erupting for like four minutes. Now we're six minutes into the eruption. Here's some interesting yard art. 
It's a black widow bug. So scary. Okay, I got bored with Soda Springs. So now I'm heading south looking for Eight Mile Road. And I found Eight Mile Cemetery. Let's go check it out. So let's go look at the cemetery. See how old some of these gravestones are. Swim through the weeds. Yeah, it's an oldie. We got a wooden headstone with no markings. So at least three unmarked graves so far. Here's an old concrete wall of some sort. That one's from 1912. Interesting little cemetery. Monroe looks like the most common name here. But yeah, that used to be a structure. Definitely gonna have to clean my socks out after this tromp through the weeds. Got some pokies in there. The eight mile road is that way. That's the way we're going. Okay, we just entered Caribou National Forest. Now we can find some free camping for later. We're not gonna go camping tonight, but I'm always willing to check out new roads to find free camping for later. So here we go. Well, so far I like this canyon. It's got a nice little creek, a bunch of pine trees. Some of the camp spots aren't very shady, but they are right by the creek. But it looks like there's a lot of people that leave their trailers up here for who knows how long. So I don't know how easy it is to really find a good spot up here. Those guys might squat on them all summer long. So let's keep going. So far, so good. I like this canyon. I've seen a couple good spots I'd camp in. So let's go.
So about the same time the creek disappeared from the side of the road was the last time I seen a camping spot. And the road got a lot rougher after that. It's slow go at like five miles an hour through some rutted out road. Nice little camp spot, right by a creek, a bunch of firewood here already too. Well, that's the little creek right by this camp spot I found almost at the end of the road. We're almost back to the highway. We made it all the way through the mountain. That was a fun little road. It got pretty steep at the end. Pretty rutted out too. So it was slow going, rocky, but it was still fun. This is a beautiful area. I'm surprised I haven't found this spot yet. It's right by a couple of other spots I really like. Well, that was an awesome adventure. Got to see some volcanoes, a geyser, and some beautiful camping. Idaho is definitely full of lots of adventure. Volcanoes, geysers, sinkholes, ice caves, beautiful mountains. Idaho's got it all, except for an ocean. No ocean in Idaho. You can go snow surfing though, in the mountains. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. 